But yeah, players will enjoy a, a two minutes warm up and I will quickly have a look at the, the times. Mm, track number six. As we see, Pico, Dave and Guriso with very good times. As we saw in the, the previous match, it was the pace was around, maybe the top pace was around 34.6 in rounds, with Thomas Jean making a very good 34.41, which was the fastest uh, time of the match. But yeah, uh, Pico, Dave and Kuriso looking very good on the map. As for Sweden, we have Whitecard and Bronco and Simpan also with very good times. So yeah, it would be two Italian powerhouses versus one Ita one uh, Swedish powerhouse with uh, Limpan and Bronco following very closely behind and and Italy kind of having to fill the third spot with one of their players. So yeah, looks looks quite promising actually. So it looks to be a very inter interesting match. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll have a little of insight at the times the players are driving. Oh, Limpan won't manage to finish, but maybe. Yeah, 34.5, which is very good. Okay, this will be exciting, actually. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> See Kuriso with not the best gear, unfortunately. Nimpan and Wildcard, the two players who, who seem to have the, the best space on this map, are, uh, the best Danish, uh, the best Swedish. Oh, did I really say da Danish? I'm sorry, Kalberg, I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah, they look to be in, in front. I can't, I'm kind of lost on the front, I'm sorry. Nimpan taking first. Pickle Dave very closely behind, getting a better transit, closing just. This tiny bit closer, this is so close. It's just two, th two thousands behind. It will be around for Sweden, but barely with Pickle Dave and Jack really nimbling on those points. With Kuriso perhaps taking a little warm up round, as he's also very fast on this map. You think not, a, not the best start as. Well, what was that white card making a mistake again? Okay, there are many mistakes. Pico Dave comfortably in first place. Can just save it. Limpen and Kurisima slowly catching, but oh Pico Dave not with the best line I think, but still managing to keep in front of Limpen. This looks to be a very comfortable round for Italy. With Pico Dave with a solid time 34.55. Limpen hugging the wall very nicely, I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> yeah, Kuriso, even though he got a terrible start, he still managed to get third, so maybe that's how he, he doesn't get another bad start. Yeah, this looks better. Quite wide, but... Yeah, it wasn't a good start again. Anyways, a uh, Swedish powerhouse in front. Three Swedes very close to each other, challenging Pickle Dave and currently overwhelming the, the Italian driver. White card, Bronco and Simpan. Really making this one very easy for them. As Pico Dave is trying his best, he's trying... White card with a wide line barely manages to hold on to the first place. With Pico Dave make, making a very nice comeback in the end. Which is unfortunately not enough for, for the Italians to get a point. I know, Chris looks like he has a different approach for the start each time. Uh, anyways, Italy in front right now. Kuriso, Pickle Dave, first two positions. Will we see the, the Swedish players come back from this? As White Hat has a Canadian skin for some reason, I want to question that. But Kuriso looks to be a very comfortable first place as White Hat takes second. And the Swedish guy closely following behind him with Bronco barely finishing right in front of Bickle Dave. 
wait. And Jack actually winning the round because he got... Oh, this is so rigged, actually. Jack winning the round for the Italian team because uh, they finish with equal time. Okay, this is so rigged. Should be a. They should implement a draw in this sec this instances when two players finish in the same place in the, with the same time. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm getting distracted. This round, very strong Italian performance. I see Bronco is is, is trying his best, but may not really get closer. As Pico they're coming back, making it an ace for Italy actually. Yeah, Italy with very solid performance. Uh, every single player below 34.7. Yeah, I think Curiso is finally getting into his groove, which together with Jack and Pico Dave making also very good performances, looks makes it look very good for Italy as they need to get two more points to win this map. And Kuriso and Pickle Dave again in first challenging for the first place. Wildcat a little bit quite close to them. We will see more risk from uh, Wildcat as Lindman risks a bit too much getting a very outside line. Oh, this round is very close. Right now it is barely in favor of. It all depends on the first place actually, and it's Wildcat taking the first place, which makes it a round for Sweden. It was all about the fight at the front, as well as the fight at the back, with Limpen and Bronco managing to get this 4th and 5th place. Yeah, another strong start for Pickle Day and Kurisu, with Bronco and Limpen having to do a catching up as... as Whitecard has made a mistake. Yeah, Bronco and Simpen will have to perform a, a beautiful end in the end in order to secure this round for the team. But unfortunately, it doesn't really look like as Jack actually gets a very good end and trying to make it another ace for Italy, which he manages to do. 35.5 by Pickle Day, 34.6 by Kurisu. Wait, this, match is, this map is very close. As you can see, one tiny mistake and the round is... You cannot get back to the round if you just make one tiny mistake. Oh, this is so... Bronco make... No, not Bronco, sorry. White card making a mistake with Jack and Pickle Dave charging in front, leading that Italian train on their way actually to the map point. Escuris completes the train currently in third place, holding barely onto it. As Bronco and Linton trying their best, but Cannot really manage to catch up in the end, and this will be an ace, ace for Italy securing their map point. GG. Yeah, the next map will be 18. Which I will have a look in a second at, at how the players perform. It is an ice map, so I would say we can exper expect a nice match between uh, Pickle Dave and uh, Gus City Pants, and I think Gus City Pants will be the player to look out for on this match. But you know, you cannot always put too much pressure on just one player who might unfortunately crumble. I'm just imagining like a dark scenario where actually like Gus feels way too much pressure and well crumbles, and this would ma make it very difficult for the team if the other members don't really have the pace. Okay, looking at the spreadsheets as players have a two minute warm up. Mm. 18. Yeah, Pickle Day having the best time. Uh, 39.29. Other players, well, Rafa and Kurisu having also solid times in, let's say, the top 250. And for Sweden. Okay, Sweden looks actually okay. Sweden looks very strong on this with Limpen, Whitecard, Gus, 
Okay, okay. <laughs> this map looks to be very in favor of Sweden. So, so Calver, get get your get your Swedish flags out. This will be a map for Sweden. <laughs> but yeah, nothing is guaranteed. This map is is not that easy. Uh, there's a little cut you can do at the end, which I would assume the players might try it, like as a last resort. Yeah, let's go, go Italy. <laughs> okay, bro. Wait, I haven't checked. Are those times actually with the cut? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Because if there are with the cut, it would be quite. Hmm. Yeah, like actually, I'm surprised how good like Nordic countries are at ice. It's like, it's literally just, like, I don't know, like, Nordic players are have, like, twice the dedication when it comes to, like, playing and training ice. I don't know what it is, it is about. Like, there are a lot of, like, Ita uh, sorry. Why did I say Italian? There are a lot of, like, Danish players as well. Norwegian players who are just very good at ice. But yeah, the match is starting. Actually, spectate Mr. Gus City fans. Yeah, I know it's the experience from real life that really comes handy. I say Sweden with a white card with a very good start. But you cannot really save on this map as you can gain or lose a lot of time in these ice slides. A speaker Dave is trying his best to catch up, but crashes unfortunately. Limpen with a very solid line, making it a, an ace for Sweden currently. But this turn is very important. You can literally this turn can decide the whole round if you get it wrong. Ooh, Gas and Limpen with solid lines. That really shows the, the the Swedish strength on this map as Gas and Limpen come. With first two places with clean runs, Wildcard taking a bit of an alternative uh, alternative uh, approach in the end, saving it a bit. But yeah, Sweden is looking just insane on this map. <laughs> uh, we will see a 5-0 actually. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't really say that. I should cheer for Italy, I should cheer for my... My friend who isn't playing, unfortunately, was probably doing the, the calls for the team. And probably, maybe even listening to me. No, I, I doubt it, but, but go Italy, go Italy. Yeah, Rafa competing with the Swedish powerhouses of Whitecar and Gas City fans. Whitecar with very weird line. Did he lose the... Did he slide out? No, it's just, it was a bad round. And actually this round is looking good for Italy this time around. How is Pickle Dave looking? Um, Pickle Dave is, yeah, he's close to white card. As well, if it as Gus. Okay, Gus has visited the forest right there. Let's make it a run for Italy, which I'm happy about. <laughs> hmm, kind of weird to see, you know, Sweden with such a good first round and now having kind of a whack run to be honest but oh well let's see that let's see whether they can keep their focus i'm pretty sure they can yeah it's just trying to like uh, make them make the rivals less focused it's used for that you know italy will now get more confidence because they will think that sweden is will troll but when sweden actually makes this round a very good round they they will no longer be just as happy to see the Swedish trolls troll. Let's see Rafa and Simpan with it in the close fight. Unfortunately, Rafa is very alone in this round. Is it really only him against Limpen? Hmm. Where is he Gus slide out again into the forest, visiting the trees? Ah, not this time around. He takes it rather clean. Where is everyone else? Pickle Dave second, Limpen third. Wait, what happened to everyone? I guess Gus was uh, an inspiration for the others to also take some uh, forest tours. 
as I would imagine, no, we thought that the stadium is located in uh, France, which is kind of scorching, so... I think finding a nice place to freeze a bit is, uh, would be also very nice. It's actually, how does the ice still keep... How is the ice still frozen, even though it's currently like 30 degrees in, in France? Okay, this way we never know. It's probably because the ice is fake. It's a fake ice. Anyways, uh, this round's looking much better for the Italian team with Curiso and Pekadev being not that far from the leaders. Curiso actually challenging for the first place as Slimpen takes a little bit weird approach. Curiso with a wide line hopefully getting more insight here as Slimpen secures his... Slimpen just bombed the tree. As Pekadev takes an insane line through the trees. That, that line by Pekadev was very good. But yeah, Limpen uh, making friends with the trees there. Making it an even two, too. Yeah, Vinke, Vinke. Yes, White Card being the only player taking the smooth line to the right, everyone else taking it to the left or the middle. Again, Sweden with a very good start. Gas and Wildcat comfortably in first as Limpen had to take a little bit of avoiding action there. Press Limpen. The yeah, country is securing well, the last place. We will see a mistake from a Gas or Wildcat because any mistake from them would be very costly for the, the, the Swedish team and actually would give a lot of woe as people have actually just running through the competition what was that that's why i got but that line but by pickle day was insane but unfortunately it didn't secure the point because kurisu crashed out and unlike yes uh, it looked to be an italian run but unfortunately kurisu well making a mistake okay let's let's follow the sniper pickle day for he really likes to uh, perform at the end. A uh, gas and white cut with very nice lines again. But as, as we can see with this map, even a 0 0.3 gap in the start doesn't guarantee you anything. As Pickle Dave takes a very nice slide, almost challenging for first. Which he needs to do as his companions are in 4th and 5th place. Yeah, all eyes on Pickle Dave. As he can change the outcome of the round as he unfortunately doesn't get the best line. This is actually Rafu who challenges Gus City Pants for the 2nd place. But it is Gus City Pants who takes the 2nd place with White Cat making a very good time at 49.9. As my gamer absolutely dies, I think, as the map, map point comes for for Sweden. Let's go follow white card. The odd one, the one who, who goes to the right instead of the left. Ay, ay, ay. That was a very, very good effort, but unfortunately, way too risky on the inside. It will be Limpen who is, and Gas who will be trying to make it the the match for, in the map point for Sweden as we saw uh, an Italian player sliding out. White can and Limpen currently securing the, the the point for Sweden as Gas comfortably in first place. Rafa, I think, trying his best. No, Kurisu, Kurisu is trying his best to catch up and he actually nearly manages to do it. But Gas with the, the cut line in the end secures the the first place which actually wins the map for for the Swedish team. Uh, GG. It is currently 1-1 one, one in maps. Hmm, the map next map would be 24. Huh. Which one was 24 again? Oh, ho, ho, 24 would be very interesting. It's 
it's a very complicated map, which I would say then kind of fits a TMGA style a bit, just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a very complex map, which I think we will see a lot of mistakes on that map. Uh, looking at the, the times of the players, the PBs, uh, yeah, let's have a look at 24. Um, that's Czech Republic. Uh, well, Italy is looking to be, well, okay-ish. Uh, it's really difficult to like, uh, okay, maybe let's look at Sweden and then let's compare the two teams. With Sweden, okay, Sweden looks, <laughs> I think, considerably much better with Bronco having uh, the eleventh best time on the map at the, the point of when the, the spreadsheet was made. Uh yeah, Sweden looking to be uh, the favorite on this map. But again, it's a very complex complex map, and I wouldn't be surprised if there will there will be a lot of mistakes. As we see actually uh Simon like warming up, who isn't the fastest player on this map, but he will really shine with the consistency on this map, potentially like nibbling on a lot of points when somebody makes a mistake. Okay, if you saw Simon just fly out. Unlucky. <laughs> the the caster scores in the warm up. Yeah, I said it before, like you guys are probably hangover or something after the mid zoomer. But yeah, if you're hangover, then you're playing quite good. Oh yeah, players having just a tiny bit to warm up and seconds which maybe you know stretch your legs a bit stand up clean your controller if it's dirty ah, we're starting with map 3 which is 24 which i would expect this the field will be quite spread out as I'm expecting a lot of mistakes from all the players. So he saw a bouncy line. Oh, that wasn't so good. But we saw Kuliso in the last map. He, he needed like a few rounds to wa warm up, and I think it will be this the case uh, here as well. And as it is, uh, the Swedish team is proving that they can not only they can can they be fast, but they can also be consistent as actually wildcard just. Um, decided to look at the sky, I think. I think it's nice to look at the sky, look at the beautiful clouds here and on the stadium. Anyways, it is a round for Sweden currently with Lempen and Bronco securing the first rounds, the first two places. Even in case one of them makes a mistake, it is Wildcard who occupies fifth place. So this looks to be a very confident round for the Swedish team. With Simon Luck, who cannot really match the pace, but being the only Italian player to keep it cons uh, clean in this round. Yeah, surprisingly, it is actually Italy who's showing how oh, white Whitehead left the match. I think uh, they ne need to stop for a moment. Wait, no, they're going. No, this is a, a end round, I guess. Yeah, this is... But yeah, I was surprised that by the, the first one that this was actually Italy who was making way more mistakes uh, than Sweden. Sweden, I think it was only one mistake. Okay, it's apparently this round is life as, as Jack takes a weird line, uh, clipping a bit and then having to save it in the water path. Levin and Broco, they literally have to make it top two in order to secure their point as, um, as their companion has uh, 
Alpha 20 game crashed. Uh, it is actually looking good, even though they have the disadvantage in this round, they're, they're still trying to make it work by securing the first two places. Simon with a, a safe line again, but cannot really, unfortunately, Limpen with a bad line. Bully Summon with a sniper, which will actually make this round a, a draw if the third Italian player manages to finish. Where is Jack? No, not this. Ah. But she... Oh, this will be close. Come on, Jack, come on, Jack, come on, Jack. Come on, come on, come on. No, he didn't finish. This is a round for Sweden, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Jay. I agree, Jay. Yeah, I'm afraid this might be a confidence like hit that they didn't manage to draw this round or win it, even with a like, disadvantage. Um, I mean, advantage for the Italian team. Yes, I think I will turn my FPS even more though. It's, it's getting very laggy. Yeah, my my laptop is not really in the in the performance community, unfortunately, and it's heating up a bit. So, uh, I guess it's. I hope it is not bad with the freezes a bit, a bit because I can see like freezes on my side, yeah, and it's getting worse. I think. Oh well. Can I close something down? Not really. But yeah, players are having a bit of fun, doing donuts. Simon taking a nice buff. As it is uh, quite hot in Italy, I think it's like 40 degrees where Simon lives today. So yeah, taking a nice buff in the, in the plastic ocean, the stadium ocean. Moving up and down like a roller coaster. But yeah, Lempen also joining the buff with Simon, as weird as it sounds. But there looks to be some weird issue. Hmm. Not being able to connect and now as well being kicked. Oh well, Italy might have to actually. Uh, I'm, no, sorry, Sweden might have to actually get a replacement, maybe. Yeah, uh, it will be re replacement will be Nuclear who will be hopping in onto the match. Which... I guess it's... Uh, it makes it more difficult for Sweden as... As Wycat was one of the also like very fast players on the map and... Well, well, we'll see how Nuclear performs, whether he can get some points against the currently struggling Italians who cannot really find the, the, the consistency on this map as we are live with the, the third round it is Jack taking the first place with the Swedish uh, horde right behind him let's follow Nuclear the, the new face in this match Yes. Kurisu has... Where is Kurisu? Kurisu is right behind Nuclear. As this looks to be quite a comfortable run for Sweden, even if Nuclear gets overtaken by Kurisu, but... 
Okay, never mind. Actually, Simon is right behind Gurisa as well. But now Nuclear actually can afford to lose places because it is Bronco who is in first place, followed by Jack who is followed by Limpman. And as long as Limpen can secure the third place, it is a safe and secure run for Sweden, making it 3-0 for them on, on this map. Yeah, let's follow Limpen for this round. Jack again with a very good start. Maybe not a... Never mind, actually not that good, but because he had to save a bit. Um, it is Simon and uh, Jack uh, following closely behind the leading two Swedish players. As, as Limpen makes a big mistake crashing into the trees there and signs. Well, this making it a lot more difficult for the... For the Swedish team, it's, it is nuclear and fourth place challenge being challenged by Kurisu. Well, what happened to... I think Jack just died. Yeah, Jack just died, which makes it... What are you guys doing? Focus! Focus! Where's Jack? Jack is even further behind. Okay, even though there has been many troubles in this in this uh, round it is still uh, looks to be a round for sweden if they manage to get the end which they do luckily very chaotic super chaotic oh, yeah, making it a clean clean map so far for sweden clean in, in terms of points and not in terms of uh, performance because the performance is are uh, very... Uh, it's full of crashes, okay, it's not the, the cleanest performance. It is a Jack again with this lightning start, he, re he feels really good at this like first slide, coming into the first position. With Simon being closely behind the, the pair of Limpen and Bronco, occupying the, se the second and third place. So far it looks to be a confident Swedish round, as long as Limpen can keep it together, which he lost a bit of time to Simon. Yeah, as long as Nuclear can keep the fifth place, which is very important in this round, which is maybe no longer important because Simon made the mistake, which makes it definitely a Swedish round, as long as no big mistakes are made. But Jack is not giving up, he wants the first place, Maybe it has a bit sloppy line on the tech turn, barely making it smoothly in here. But it is Bronco taking the first place and Nuclear taking third, which makes it a, a map win for Sweden. Making it 1-1. One, one. No, making it 2-1 for Sweden in this match. As I will uh, be right back in 10 seconds. Okay, we're back on the beautiful map number 13. Quite a tricky, tricky uh, map. We saw uh, the match between uh, between uh, Slovakia and Switzerland, uh, on which the the map the map was full of mistakes, like pretty much everywhere. Like this map really depends on these like these turns, which you have to like optimize as much as you can, especially the end section, which is just a lot of like very precise tech trips and the most important part is coming up which Jack hopefully will present very nicely. This is a grass site which is just very difficult to hit as Bronco actually zooming past showing how how the perfect site looks. But yeah this section here it's 
it's very difficult like I mean it's maybe not difficult but it's difficult to get it like perfectly if you want to maximize it it's very risky maybe let's have a quick look at the times again um map number 13 we're looking at Italy right now which seems to be seems to have quite good good pace especially with Jack and Pickle Dave being top 100 on these maps and the third guy being probably Simon it will be probably Simon who well last map he was consistent but didn't really have the pace unfortunately because I called him the Mr. Consistent and actually Sweden looking to have the worst pace on this map yeah there's only really white card who can like uh, compete on pace uh, anyways uh, let's go back into the game uh, no trade them there's not because the teams in the spreadsheet are on the playoff teams so there's no South Africa <clears throat> Right, we'll start uh, with this map, which won't be easy for Sweden. If we, it would be great for them to win this map because they would be able to close the match down. But it looks like it won't be an easy task because Italy looks much faster on this map. But as I say here, so it is actually Sweden who looks much better as we saw two players... So two players hit the wall and two more players hit the ring and it's Simon Lang and Limpen being the only survivors on this in this round. Wow. And the two players who crashed the ring having to full respawn. It is Simon Lang who Oh Limpen sniping so close. He's actually sniped Simon Lang right at the end. Let's look back. Who's who's behind? It's this white guy I think who's taking third place, making the round for Sweden as long as Rafa and Jack DNF nuclear is going to finish, making it a very chaotic round for Sweden. Oh, nuclear doesn't finish, but it's a still a round for Sweden. Wow, what was that? Uh, let's hope this one, this round is cleaner. <laughs> oh yeah, it says Jack and Simonak. Challenging the Swedish players who actually show to have a lot of pace on this map, even though it doesn't really look at the split shit like that. Nuclear going way to inside, unfortunately. Rafa giving a nice overview of the field as, as it is Jack was in first and Simon Luck was in third, securing the round for Italy currently. Wait, where's Jack? Um, never mind, Jack just crashed. Simon also crashed. This makes it another round for Sweden, actually. Hmm. Well, Italy needs to really get together. They cannot lose rounds like that. Hmm. Okay, let's follow uh, Jack in this round. Well, I unfortunately didn't manage to finish, maybe being unfortunately a bit tilted after the bad two rounds. Uh, this doesn't look good for Jack, unfortunately. Is it Sweden again? The pack of Swedish players challenging for first place again. We see more mistakes. Wildcat with a mistake. It is Simon Lang and Rafa challenging the two Swedish players. As Nuclear gets a very nice side. Where is Simon? Simon is third. Where is uh, Jack? Did he manage to overtake? Yes, he managed to overtake White Card and actually uh, Bronco as well. This time it being a very messy round, but in favor of, of Italy. Okay, it looks like both of the teams are not really focused, I guess. It's a, a lot of mistakes from both of the teams. And last map it was the same way, actually. Dairaga. I don't know what that means, but it sounds almost Polish, actually. Okay, Jack actually with a clean start this time. 
charging for first place against Whitecat and Linton. Rafa closely behind. We see another mistake from Whitecat though. No, he's making it clean. Jack with another ring mistake, unfortunately. Whitecat taking very inside light. Rafa taking way more speed with a wider line. As we see in the background, it is Nuclear and Jack actually fighting for the last place, which might come very important as it is Rafa and it is Rafa taking the first place. Where's Simon? Simon second, making a very clean. I mean, not a clean round, but making it a round for Italy, one way or another. Let's see Nuclear and Jack, but they're still in a fight. I mean, they don't matter as it is a clean, clean round for Italy, but it would be nice for Jack to at least finish to get your confidence a bit back up. Because it, it can, can be quite trapped to come back after so many mistakes. Yeah, let's go, Jack, let's go. Let's follow Rafa for this round. This player is ma making a little a wiggle on the classic to generate a tiny bit more speed. Whitecat with an intrinsic like his nose dipped a little bit on the on the jump. Taking very inside like having to abort. Rafa in first. Human crashes, nuclear challenge, challenging for first place. It is Simon and Rafa and Jack in a close pack together. Securing another point for Italy, taking it very safe. Uh, yeah, Italy coming, coming back together after very messy like first rounds. Yeah, let's see what the round has in, in store. As it was Sweden getting a tiny confidence bonus, uh, boost from the first round, but unfortunately, maybe this boost has worn off. That's why can, again with a very inside line, he really likes this risky inside line, as this time it actually pays off. This is Jack with. Not the best time having to do a normal side, but Simon Ark and Jack in second and third. Limpen currently sec No, Limpen loses to Rafo. This is very important. As Rafo makes a mistake! Up until that point, this was an Italian run, but the mistake by Rafo made it a point for Sweden. White card with a solid time 39.6. Simon and Jack showing a pace around 41, 42, which seems to be in enough to secure a safe second place. Yeah, free fear. Yeah, will it be Italy prolonging the, prolonging the map to the uh, the match to the last map, or will it be Sweden who will close the match in this map? As this round looks very good for Sweden. Whitecat, again with the very inside that like very risky, making it work. Limpen and Nuclear following not that far behind, safely in second third place. Limpen with a nice slide, making this round quite secure for Sweden as long as none of them make a mistake. With Simon having to put a bit of pressure as Nuclear coming back, back to the field. Yeah, match point for Sweden in the next round. As Italy looked a bit better for a moment, but I think it was just one good round because they, they seem to struggle again with consistency. Let's see, gonna spectate Simon as he Possibly make something happen in this round. Let's see. No mistakes so far. All the players focusing to the maximum. Linton and Michael having a good setup for the glass side. Simon and Jack. As Linton actually hits the checkpoint. Where is uh, Rafa? Rafa is in fourth. Making this a point for Italy. With Italian players struggling with the, the section after the glass slide. 
Making it a fourth floor actually and Bringing it to a final round on this map Then another fourth floor round Let's go The pressure is it's as high as it can, can get for all the players. Italian players having to defend their position in the match. Swedish players are willing to end the match in this round. Let's follow Nuclear for the jump. So I can show you again that he's just so good on this map. Needing support from Nuclear who also manages to get a clean slide. And it's also Lindman who follows the Swedish train or on their way to end the match right on this round. It is Simon like, trying to his best, unfortunately crashing on the inside. It is Sweden closing down the match. GG's. It is unfortunately uh, Italy that will be eliminated from the ma from the tournament right now. It is Sweden which moves on to the next matches. <laughs> yeah, maybe let's have a look at the bracket as the match has concluded. I will close the game so maybe my my PC like cools down just a tiny bit. Oh uh, yeah, 